Action underway in Norman tonight following a controversial vote. City leaders voted to approve a plan very late last night to help publicly fund a new entertainment district and arena. OU wants it, but some say they plan on fighting to the bitter end. News Force John Hayes is here to explain what's next. Jolene, since a majority of the council has made up their minds, Norman residents against this issue say they'll have to garner thousands of signatures to put the choice in the people's hands. It is a very onerous process to put on residents. Cynthia Rogers says some Norman residents are going to have a busy next few weeks if they aren't happy about this. A vote have been cast and the motion passes by a vote of five to four. A majority of city council members approving plans to move forward with a billion dollar entertainment district and arena using some of taxpayers' money. Not everybody thinks that's a good investment or a quality of life. It wasn't unanimous, uh, but the city council spoke. That division on full display. I cannot support the TIF funding proposal for this without some kind of public vote in the affirmative. If I'm wrong, well, then in February, they can take action. They're volunteers who get to make $600 million decisions. Roger says she can and will be helping petition for an election to give all of Norman a say. It hasn't been filed yet, but when it is. There are so many people that have offered to collect signatures. Organizers will have 90 days to get enough people on board. I think the number is around 6,200 signatures collected. But do you feel like this petition will have enough support, enough signatures to actually reach a vote of the people? Yes, I wouldn't bother if I thought it was not. Either way, this is a vote Roger says Norman won't be forgetting anytime soon. I think I, people will remember, they won't forget, and um, it will be brought up if any of the you know people run again. And Kevin and Jolene, if enough valid signatures are raised after a protest period, it would trigger a citywide election in February. We've reached out to members of Team Norman for comment on the petitioning process, but haven't heard back yet.